Hello guys, back in Hammond, Louisiana. Um, to record the northbound city of New Orleans, of course. Um, earlier I was in Slidell, go check out that video, and I caught my first P40. So, yeah, it, you guys should definitely go watch that video. Um, make sure to like and subscribe too. So, yeah, let's get to the video. So, it's really rainy out today. <laughs> Weather hasn't been much better. You can see it's it's like storming. Huh. Water down there. Like in that little thing. Train spotting in the rain. Come on, bro. Who does this? Me. Yeah, you can see like there's a pud giant puddle of water. <laughs> the weather is so bad. It's like your average day in Louisiana. The weather is so bad, like, I can't even go out there. Because like, you can see how bad it's raining. Uh-huh, yeah. I had to take shelter in this little thing. <laughs> and of course, it gets worse. It's literally getting worse. Like, bro, look. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Like, it is actually very crazy here. Yeah. <laughs> I gave you some water. Luckily, I have a GoPro, so you guys should be waterproof. <laughs> Good thing about GoPro is you're waterproof. Eh. Shouldn't have done that. Get the lens all wet. I just thought I was about to fall off of here, actually. Gosh. Yeah. Kind of slippery out here. Very slippery out here. Anyways, the point I'm trying to make is Louisiana is very, very rainy. So, I hear it now, which is obviously a good sign. And I see it too. <laughs> Parting very soon. This is one way to clean your passenger cars too, just send them out in the rain. <laughs> I wish I was on this train, but again, I'd say that about pretty much any Amtrak train. Oh my gosh. It's got the clog horn again. No, not this again. The weird clogged the horn. Wait, they put the car on 
Two dining cars. It had two dining cars. Two dining cars, bro. So there is a freight train coming. Not that one down there. Not that one. There's another one coming north. Signals tell you that. Um, and I see the headlight too. <laughs> you guys won't be able to see it. I do. So yeah, get to you when it arrives. And. So it is arriving. <laughs> this girl just walked right in front of it. Like, I don't know who's walking. Like, every time I go rail fanning, I see someone walk like 800 feet in front of it, like, like 400 feet in front of a train. Like, that's going like 40 miles per hour. Like, who does that? Apparently, everyone nowadays. I love kicking these little pebbles. You see them? I love kicking them. Trying to hit and make them bounce off the rails. I like the clinging sound. Here's one right here. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, yeah, did it. Just anyway. Yeah. Um, go, go check out some of my music. I make music too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made some music recently. This is a beautiful station. Um, even though I kind of like Slidell, because my last video, um, it, Slidell has a really cool station because it has like old. Oh my gosh! But again, it is storming, so yeah, you can see the light now. I bet these yeah GoPros aren't very good for like up close. Um, yeah, they're really only good at this, rail fanning. Rail fanning on a nice day. They're still good, like, at rail fanning on a rainy day. They're just not as good, because, but I guess all cameras get, like, wet stuff, like, get, like, droplets of water on their lens. It's annoying, is what I'm trying to say. It's annoying because then it kind of blocks, like, a piece of your video. Yeah, this station's like very, very old. If you're wondering what that tower right there is, I believe it was an old signal tower. <laughs> it is crazy to think that this, that this like entire building used to be a train station. Like, cause this would have been one big train station. Like, look, there, all the way down there. Like, I don't even know what they used the entire thing for, but I guess it was more like, it was kind of like an airport back then. Because I guess it just needed more waiting room. Because nowadays there's, uh, I'm just gonna say there's there's like a quarter of how many there used to be, less than that probably of how many people travel by train. I'd probably say 10 percent of, like it's gone down by like only one like tenth, like only like five percent of the population travel by train. So, yeah. Really only if you live up northeast. Oh my gosh, it's got one of those weird horns. Ugh, I don't like it. Yeah, these cars better get out the way before they get boom boomed. <laughs> boom boomed. But I mean by boom boomed is they get struck by a train that's traveling at 50 miles per hour. Cause I feel this, this one looks like it's going really fast. Yeah, it's gonna be doing one of those like things where it just like bounces really rapidly and scares the living daylights out of anyone who's near it like me. I've had my fair share of trains today. This is my fifth one.
yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, yeah, see you next video. Astro Birdie out.